This video is going to show you how to install Team One Recovery 2.0 on the HP touchpad. Hit enter. Click on this one. And then this one. Choose your device, HP touchpad, going to go ahead and download the zip, it's downloading now. Do not click on it because you will learn your lesson the first time you do it. Choose recovery this way. I wonder what it's going to do about the booting clockwork mod if it's going to keep saying that after we do this. Install zip from SD card. Press this button right here. Choose zip. Let's go to the downloads folder. And we'll choose the tin your lion. And install. And then choose go back. Advanced. Reboot recovery. Oh, cool. You still have clockwork? You still get clockwork. Cool. Now we're going to boot twerp. That's awesome. The battery level is true. This thing was almost dead. So, unlike the Evo 3D, that actually works right now. Uh, I'm guessing that's the back button. And that's console. And home. Ooh, that's neat. That's probably how it works on the Kindle Fire as well. You got your normal install options if you choose a zip. Oh, I already checked it. It was down here. And you choose flash it right away. Go back. Choose backup. I would not do the skip because you want to make sure everything matches up with your MD5. That's cool. Restore. If I had a backup in there, it would be able to restore it right here. Wipe. You got cache, Dalvik cache, factory reset, battery stats, rotation, system, SD card, SDEXT. And then mount. You choose mount USB storage so you can mount your 
touchpad to your computer and transfer files without actually being in CyanGene or WebOS. Settings. Time zone, restore defaults. You can't really read it, so it says zip file signature verification, force MD5 check on all zips, use RM-RF instead of formatting, skip MD5 generation on backup, enable MD5 checking of backup files. Go back, just advanced, copy log to SD, fix permissions, reboot, you got bootloader, recovery, power off, and system. I'm curious, I'm going to choose recovery. Okay, so it gives you the normal options. I'm booting this engine mod now. There you go. This is actually a very quick boot up. Um, you get to keep your clockwork mod recovery in case you want to use that. And you get to use twerp. So you choose which one you use. That's awesome. Remember, I am getting a Kindle Fire, and the Kindle Fire does not have volume up or down. So there was no way before to make selections unless you had touchscreen recovery, and now you do. So stay tuned. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll put my Twitter in the description. Uh, this is what would Josh you know out.